Okay, it's Rooney and welcome back to another video on Rooney's List. So today I'm coming to you guys with what to expect from me in 2021. I know it's been a weird year and you may feel that you haven't accomplished anything. Along those lines, I think a lot of people feel that way, especially myself. But I'm not a huge person when it comes to resolutions. I just believe that if you want to start something, end something, or accomplish anything, you don't need the new year to signify you starting that, or ending that, or accomplish, accomplishing anything. And so, usually, I don't do resolutions. I think the last time I've done like New Year's resolutions was when I was in like grade school and we had to for a little like coloring project that we were doing. But other than that, I usually don't like write down a list of New Year resolutions. And I didn't want to come to you guys with a list of resolutions for myself because I just don't do that. So I decided to do what to expect from me. And so, Let's just start with that. So expectations on my YouTube. Of course, I'll be working on my list of things I want to do before I turn 30. And so if you haven't checked out my first ever YouTube where I go through this list, uh, go check it out. I'll put a, a little card up there. So if you want to go look at it, you can. And then uh, another expectation is to finish my woman developing series. So I have six more females to interview. I wanted to interview all those females during winter break, but I had to realize that I wasn't just on my time, I was on their time. So a lot of people were on vacation or just busy um, with family things. I understand I was, I was in the same boat. And so, I did not interview a single female during that time. But that is okay, that is okay. I will work towards finishing that. And then another expectation is I'm probably gonna do more interview kind of videos or just have other females come and show what kind of information they have to share from with college or majors or work life or just anything in that area because I just want to have different females on my channel so people can relate to them especially females as in they can relate to on skin color or their ethnicity or the type of hair they have or if they're in the same major as one of you guys who are watching my videos so I just want to have different females come on my YouTube just so you can have someone that is relatable and you may relate to me from where you are in life or if you're just a female in general or just anything like that but I just want to make this channel relatable and just something that you can share or really feel with if that makes sense. But with that, um, sorry to all the males who watch my videos. It's not particularly for you, I'm sorry, but you can still watch my videos. I don't exclude anyone, but I, when I film all these videos, I do keep my female audience in mind. And with that being said, it's time to declare my niche. Now for the declaration of my niche. So your niche is your thing. What you want to showcase on your channel, right? And so my niche is woman development. Uh, woman development as in the woman I am today and the woman I'm going to be tomorrow. Just showing my journey of how I'm becoming the female that I want to be. And so, the type of videos I will be doing on my channel is lifestyle and vlogs, as in just to show a glimpse into my life, so you have a better understanding of who I am, and I guess what I'm doing in a typical, regular day. 
and so I might be doing some business videos as in running a business venture and so I might be sharing some things about that, my journey, how I did it, it's still in the works right now. Uh, maybe some finance videos on how to save some money in college or credit cards or getting into investing and then videos about navigating your 20s because I am in, I am 20 and this is a decade of no, yeah a decade of, thing, of things that I want to accomplish and then maybe travel we will see we will see and then some college type videos and then I just wanted to share what my channel is not. It feels like a lot of female YouTubers focus on fashion and beauty. I am not that kind of person, I would say. If I was gonna do fashion, it would be more styling videos, as in what to wear to a career fair, or what to wear to an interview, or what to wear as a female engineer on the on the field, like stuff like that. And then if it comes to beauty, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Uh, so if I were gonna do beauty, it would be more of finding confidence in the type of hair that you have or some natural remedies to, I don't know, just things along those lines. And so with that, that is the end. What you will expect from me on my YouTube channel next year and so with that if you want to come along my journey just like and subscribe of course you don't have to but with that that is the end of this video and i will see you all next year